Hello, my name is Tay, and I'll be comparing the Medit i700 wireless with the i700. The i700 scanner was released on April 15th, 2021. After one year later, Medit released the i700 wireless scanner. At first glance, the wireless model is noticeably longer than the i700. The original is 9.8 inches, while the wireless is 12.3 inches in length. Due to the length and battery, the wireless is slightly heavier by 83 grams, but is still one of the lighter scanners in the market. Since the wireless is a bit longer, the handle makes it easier to hold the scanner. There is a rubber cap underneath. Take that out and attach the handle. If you don't like the handle, you have the option not to use it. The i700 has an anti-fog fan to prevent the mirror from fogging and blows air into the patient's mouth. The wireless doesn't seem to have the fan, but I can definitely feel the air blowing. The wireless hub and the battery charger is where the scanner connects. There are more cables than the i700, but of course, they aren't connected to the scanner itself. The battery charger and the wireless hub will light up if the power is plugged correctly. The light in the scanner will also change depending on the battery left. However, if you don't have enough battery, then you can connect the scanner to the battery extension cable. The cable connects to the charger and not the laptop, so this is technically still wireless. The scanner tips received a big update. Prior scanner tips could be autoclaved up to 100 times, but now the new scanner tips are autoclavable 150 times. Both scanner tips are reversible for easier maneuvering while scanning. The mirror is slightly bigger, but the connection is compatible. That's not all. There are two different tips that can be purchased separately. The addition of small scanner tips allow easier scanning for people with smaller mouths. There are also single-use tips for hygiene purposes. With all of these options, it gives doctors a lot more versatility. Looking at the calibration tool, there seems to be no changes at all. The connection and model is still the same. The only big update for this would be the new auto calibration tool. You have to purchase this separately. This tool automatically calibrates your scanner for an easier calibration. Okay, wireless is great, but is it faster? I am currently using an i9 Intel Core RTX 2070 Super, 32 gigabyte RAM, and a Windows 10 Pro laptop. This is the recommended spec for the computer, but higher specs will result in better FPS. I am scanning a full upper and lower arch. With this spec, it is ranging around 50 FPS, which is not too bad. Performance-wise, both scanners have the potential to reach 70 FPS.
As I am scanning, the frames for the i700 and the wireless are not too different. In fact, they are very similar, despite one being wired and the other wireless. Now, a lot of people have been waiting for this feature. Medit now allows doctors to take their shade using the scan data on both the i700 and the wireless. Unfortunately, this feature is not available in the previous model, such as the i500. The AI selects the shade and you are able to select multiple shade for each teeth. After you save and send your case, your lab will be able to see your shade selection. Medit has been very active in the hardware and software updates, and I think we can expect a lot more in the future. Please subscribe for any future updates, and for any questions, please email us at digitalteam at megagenamerica.com. Thanks for watching.